I'll be here if you need me. Fifth position. <laughs> oh, now I look so much more European. Are Mel's eyelashes expensive? <laughs> My name is Florence Champagnard de Bazet, and Olga here coming from uh, uh, Russia. And we are the professional prima ballerina. I think we are ready for the next level. Dreams come true in America. You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Good evening. Hello. Hello. What are your names? Uh, I am Florence. Uh, uh, Miss Olga. Okay. Look how Simon's looking at me. Yeah, you're your dancers. Show us what you I do. Hope this goes well. Very serious. Is it not cracker? to set up all of us, but just beat the crap out of Mel B. <laughs> it's for Nose Thank you. Thank, Thank you, though. Thank you. I want to go and get my thing. I'm decapitated. No! Off switch. That was amazing. I believe in miracles. Where you from? You sex a thing, sex a thing, you. What is your name, young lady? My name's Sam Amos. And what is it that you do? Well, I'm actually a bottom reader. A what? So, what? A bottom reader. <laughs> A rumpologist. So. You, see this. you read the future from there behind. I yes. can, yes. I cannot wait to see this. My first one for you. <laughs> This bottom tells me this person has kind of made a lot of decisions about their life over the past two years. With this bottom, this person um, doesn't sleep very well. All right, come around. Let's see if we got the few things that we got. Oh, my God! <laughs> this is Skinny's leg. She said, I've been making a lot of decisions in the last Life years. decisions? Yeah. You didn't know that that was Nick back there, did you? No, no. You can tell from all that? I can know. <laughs> my book could fit through that hall. I would actually want to get my book read. It would be a bloody long reading. Shut up, you. <laughs> Simon, let's start the vote. I'm going to say no. Heidi, what do you say? For me, it's a no. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you so much. Nick, your fly is open. 
Are you someone who should be a star but just hasn't had the shot? Yeah, absolutely. Can you imagine anyone going to a concert listening to you make that noise for two hours? Maybe not that long. Congratulations, three nights. Let's all do it together. Uh, let's go back that up. See, the first time you hear it, you don't like it, then you can't get it out of your head. <laughs> no, I'm still feeling the same way. Shakira, Shakira. I never really knew that she could dance like this. Yeah. She make a man want to speak Spanish. Como se llama? Hey. Bonita. Hey. Casa. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you talk. Like we've met before. We have. I've auditioned before. I'm Diane Bernard, and I'm from Ocala, Florida, and I love the hula and I'm back. I auditioned for America's Got Talent in season nine, and I got stage fright, and I just couldn't do as well as I'm able to do. Are you doing the same routine? And no, I'm trying to impress them more by doing another one. It's harder. Very good. I hope it works. Well, it will. Since beyond the show, I've been practicing nonstop, and I come back with something real special. Would you do what you do? Oh, Diane. <laughs> Hello, young lady. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Diane Bernard. She's back. Diane Bernard, why do yes. I know your name? Because I've been on the show before. <laughs> Two years ago, right? Two years ago, but I've learned a lot since. So would the lesson be if at first you don't succeed? Uh... Keep trying. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you do. I remember her so well. I thought it was really boring, it was sort of pointless. But I'm doing a hula hoop dance. It's a dance. It was like you were having a fight with it. <laughs> Diane, Diane, hold on, hold on. It should be a duo. You and me. Simon didn't understand the neck thing. Let's show him how the neck works. Put your neck into it, son. Let's get out of here! I can do it around the neck. She can do it. Where are you going, Heidi? She's gonna do yeah, it. She can do she it. She can do it pretty good. Go ahead, go. giant airplane and uh, my talent. I'm Robert. I used to be in business. I used to wear a suit and tie and have my hair cut short. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't in my heart. My heart was seeing people smile and laugh. Yeah, I have so many butterflies, but... Well, I can see why you have butterflies, because you're beautiful as a butterfly. <laughs> when somebody smiles, it's like magic sunshine even in the shade. I love how you turned your, your hand into a uh, visor, a beautiful natural visor. Great job, sir. My main goal is to see the judges and the audience smile. Go get them. Have fun out there. Yeah. 
Hello, what is your name? I'm Robert the Compliment Man. Robert the Compliment Man. So what do you do for a living? I give compliments full time. Can I ask you a question? What did you do before you did this? I was a businessman for many years. Doing what? Uh, bottled water, uh, designing machines, basically on a piece of paper and doing magic with water. And then what was the light bulb moment when you went, I'm going to go from that to this? The light bulb was the stress, trading stress for smiles created by compliments. Okay. Well, best of luck. Thank you. I'd like to compliment the audience on parking. No one double parked, and just about every single car was locked. Simon, I love your blunt honesty. Oh, okay, we knew that was enough. Okay. Simon doesn't seem impressed. Something, something smells really nice, Howie. being spicy. I like that compliment. And now, I love your beautiful, perfect nose a lot. Now. Because people don't like compliments. I'm gonna let uh, Simon start with the first compliment. All right, sounds good. You're mad, so it's a no. <laughs> Heidi. It's a no. Okay. Mel, you seem to be the last one to buy. I was the last one because I actually wanted more compliments. <laughs> so because I didn't get that many, it's a no from me too. Uh, Robert, you have four no's. <laughs> okay. So you are one of the most consistently bad acts we've had tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Robert. Enjoy every moment. I liked it. It's all good. I cannot believe someone waits in line all day, all day to do that. America's Got Talent is top notch, regardless of just excess. But X's can be kisses too, so I'll take those kisses. X's can be kisses too. I wanted more compliments. I want Eskimo kiss. It's no, no, it's just no. What's your name? I'm Richie the Barber. <laughs> oh, you know, God. I just got to say right off the bat, there is a man sitting there who has. Simon, I love you. Well, wait. Oh. I don't think it's going to be reciprocal because he's a fear of clowns. <laughs> but I'm blue, though. Is that better when clowns are blue? I don't know. So, how long have you been a clown? I've been a clown about three years, tattooed. That's but not your makeup. Your whole face is tattooed. That's yeah. not makeup. It's not coming off. No. What are you saying? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Let me yeah. let me ask you, when did you start deciding to become a clown? When I was 10 years old, my grandfather took me to the circus and I saw a clown and he turned around, he's all, shh, don't be scared. You wanna learn how to juggle? So then he pulls out all these scarves and then he makes them float in the air. And he told me, anytime you're sad, juggle. Anytime you're happy, juggle. He inspired me so much. I went home and 
I got on my mom's makeup and I started painting my face. And my mom's like, what are you doing? With don't paint your face. And I'm like, I want to be a clown. I'll be a clown forever. I like, kept it a secret. Like, you know, I was in the closet, the clown closet for a while. I got a job working at a barber shop. I wanted to be like everybody else, but it didn't feel right. I decided to come out of the closet. Why not be a real clown forever, you know? And I knew that to do that, I could tattoo my face. I want to show people that they can be who they want to be, because dreams can become reality, baby. So you're always a clown? Yeah, forever. You're the only real clown we met because you can't wipe that off. Sorry, Simon. Harry, just make him do whatever he's going to do. Simon's getting scared. He Simon said, just scared. make him do what he's going to do. I'm sorry, Simon. Go ahead. Go do what you're going to do. All right, hit it, boys. Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah, he's smiling. Let's get it. Every day I'm juggling. Every day I'm juggling. Every day I'm juggling. Every day I'm juggling. Here I am, sitting tall like the man I am. I'm the boss. Sorry, Rick Ross. Uh, mustache, top hat. What you know I'm Cycle so fly. It's so out of time. The streets like beep, beep, beep. Hold at the sweet, sweet. So I'll give you that. Enthusiasm? Yes. He, he tattooed that on his face. That's more than enthusiasm. That's commitment. Oh, my God. Whoa. This is going nowhere. Can we just vote? Howie. All right. Yes. Woo! I love you. For me to know. I'm sorry. I am. I'm not. I'm not sorry. I'm going to say no. I, I'm going to have to say no. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. My name's uh, John Bernhardt. I live in Summerhill, Massachusetts. I'm 52 years old. It's getting hard to remember. And I'm an actuary. A what? An actuary. I'm We're the guys who do the math for insurance companies. Oh, that sounds uh, I work all day. I work, with, <laughs> I work with a lot of spreadsheets during the day, um, programming, um, all stuff that uses that mathy part of my brain. Performing in front of judges is definitely new to me. I played at weddings with friendly audiences. These days, I have a four-year-old which takes up a lot of my time, so I don't practice as much as I used to, but I still like to practice as often as I can. Well, speaking as a statistician, I have about a one in 50,000 chance of going all the way, but I think my act is unique, and I think my chances might be a little bit better than that. Hello. Hello. So who are you? My name's John Bernhardt. Nice to meet you, John. What do you do for a living? Uh, my day job is as an actuary. Like an accountant? 
were the folks who didn't have the personality to be an accountant. <laughs> so while you're working, what's really going on in your head is, is that I want to be doing this full time, yeah? It would be a great dream, yeah. All right, best of luck. I hope it goes well. Thank you. Cool sound. I've just got to say, there's something fantastically nuts and weird about you, John. <laughs> that's, and, that, that's what and I'm going for. you went crazy in the middle, it was like, you know, you stand up for every nerd who's ever wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> wow. Nerd rule! I love that. Howie. Just a joy in your face <laughs> while you're playing. <laughs> you're so magnetic that I couldn't take my eyes off of you. Heidi. I love that song, and you butchered it to death. <laughs> Hi, dude. You don't understand. I don't. Okay, so when you first started, it was awful. But then something changed. Right. And it was almost like you had an invisible person there, and you were just strangling them. Just like... <laughs> and I thought... I've never seen this before. I wanted to take back my ex. Oh, thank you. We can take it back. This is an important decision we've got to make now. Let me start with Howie. I'll say it with the same kind of electrical magnetism that you gave us. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Heidi. Sorry, I'm going to give you a no. I didn't like it. Mel. I'm going to give you a yes. Thanks. Look, part of me thought it was one of the worst things I've ever seen and heard in my life. And the other half of me was so desperate to see what you would do next. So... Okay, okay, okay. It's three yeses. Should I stay or should I go? My son, thank you very much. Should I stay or should I go? Oh, man, John! You gotta teach me how to do this. Describe today. <laughs> Where do you start? Rock on. Thank you. You kid actuary.
so funny. It's so funny. I'm Tita. I'm, I'm 63 years old. I live in Seattle. What are you going to do for us today? I'm going to show you how to laugh. I'm a laughter coach. You're a laughter coach? Yes. I work in the hospital. I'm a patient service specialist. In 2001, I saw the flyer posted in the hospital about the benefit of laughter therapy. I think the judges are gonna love you, especially Howie Mandel. He needs somebody to laugh at his jokes. I'm venting. I know Simon is sometimes grumpy, but I can make him to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I am here tonight to bring more laughter to the world. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, what's your name? My name is Tita. Where are you from? I live in Seattle. Tell me what you're going to be doing today. I am a laughter coach. Oh. I make this all audience to laugh. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, this one I can't wait to see. Good luck. <laughs> We have 500 different kind of laugh. Please laugh with me. Let's do the penguin laughter. <laughs> Silent laughter. Let's do greeting laughter. Shake your neighbor in love. <laughs> oh my God. Let's do the penguin laughter. No, the penguin. Tita, Tita, oh. Tita, no more, no more. No, you're giving me a headache now, Tita. I can't take any more of this. <laughs> but I liked it. It was kind of goofy and fun. Tita, have you been drinking? Uh, no. Melby, you're very sweet, but I'm gonna have to say no today. Sorry. Heidi. Well. <laughs> so it was kind of fun for like two minutes, but then, then it was too much. It's a no. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to say no, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, you thank you, thank you! Was that? My name is Greg, I'm 61 years old, I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida, and I have a passion for danger. In my family, we were always raised to work hard, get a career, follow that line through life. But you know, deep inside, I always had a passion for danger and risk. My act requires a lifetime of preparation, not only physically, but mentally. Judges are always asking for bigger, more explosive, more dangerous and I'm here to give them that. If I don't get this just right, I could be going home in an ambulance. <laughs> Go for it. Children, do not try this at home. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hi, what's your name? 
My name is Greg. And uh, what do you do, uh, Greg, uh, for a living? Well, I'm retired now, but before I worked in construction for a long time, but mm -hmm. I've always had a passion for the big stage here. So what you're going to do tonight is a passion project. It is. How long have you been doing what it is you do? You know, it's been a lifetime in preparation, a few moments of inspiration, and tonight will be the culmination. Is this something you think could win the whole competition? I believe it can, yes. I think this is going to be dangerous. OK, let's see what you do. Good luck. He looks nervous. Is it going to be dangerous for us right here? Oh, no. What's in there? I'm kind of scared. I wonder what he's going to do. thing we've seen so far in America's Got Talent. You know what? I'm going home. Good night. I've had it. Good night, everyone. He's actually leaving. You want to vote? No. What, do you want to vote? No. No. Really annoying. No. <laughs> you jump in it, Nick! Jump, Nick! 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 No! This is not why I came back to America. 